What's up guys? Uh, another Alliance War video for you in the middle of all this Sentry gameplay and stuff. Uh, so this time I'm taking in, um, I decided to take in Quake uh, on top of my Archangel and Spider-Man. Because I wanted to give Quake a, a go uh, since she's been uh, buffed, well not buffed, fixed. Um, and just see like you know how effective she is in Alliance War. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm a little bit rusty, even though I just did my Quake... Uh, Quake meta video, I, I I definitely was not, you'll see, this Mordo just, it, this is not a good fight. You're about to see some uh, real punishment here. But um, I, I try and go in for the, the, the whole parry stun thing, and it seems to be working, but I'm like, I'm on my heels. Like, he's just, he's got me somehow. I can just feel it. Like, I, it, it's just that feeling you get when you have a, when you're about to have a bad fight. <laughs> and so I, I don't know how I got clipped there, but then I go in for a little intercept here. And I'm thinking, okay, I just cancel out his power gain. And then, I actually, he st I stunned him on, like, one aftershock. And then it was just really unlucky. And then I just get into this cycle of doom against the wall where he's constantly gaining power. And I'm, like, risking a special attack. And it's, it's just not good. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to try and plan out this stun here. And it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm degenerating. I panic. Throw a special two. Luckily, he doesn't punish me. He could have. Uh, and then I, he, he bleeds out or whatever. He concusses out. So I lost a lot of hit points with Quake. But then I thought, you know what? It's not the end of the world. This is a great opportunity for me to show that Quake doesn't need hit points. <laughs> She, I, I was like, I, I was feeling better, you know, it's more, Quake doesn't gain power, Mordo does, so I was like, okay, Quake versus Quake should be no problem, let's do this Quake style. So, I go in, uh, just either evading or parrying, throwing in a heavy there to get some distance, you know, I'm just trying to warm up her, Quake wasn't uh, actually reaching me, which was kind of weird, she whiffed a couple times, so that's, that's kind of strange, but uh, yeah, everything's going perfectly. I'm uh, stacking those aftershocks pretty high, 15 aftershocks, I mean, yeah, she's as good as dead. So I just throw in this heavy, I might have to dodge a special one here, but no, she, she gets parried and she drops. So it's pretty good. Um, I uh, continue on this, yeah, it looks like I need to come back when I have some more energy. But uh, just edit the footage there and come in with this Ultron. This is a big Ultron. Uh, wasn't I didn't realize when I first started this fight this was a 455 Ultron. Um, but I thought, uh, perfect, Quake, here we go. Um, reduce that ability accuracy, prevent the healing. But I didn't realize how long this fight was going to be. So this is an interesting one. So I first get that initial parry and heavy off, and then I start my whole evade heavy, uh, evade parry uh, cycle. Um, evading extra time if I'm feeling it. And then I'm realizing, wow, his hit points are not dropping. This is gonna be a long fight. So I better just start um, trying to control his power meter a bit and attacking into him. Uh, so I did that, now I'm back to my heavy style, trying to get those aftershocks built up. I'm up to nine here, but I'm not able to uh, push him to his special two because I'm not very good at evading that special two. So I'm just trying to get control his power, just build that up a little bit. You know, I'm, I notice, okay, a five hit combo is going to get him to one more special bar. So I'm just like, okay, I want to push him back a little bit. So I'm just going to do some combos, get him against his own wall, and then start this whole cycle over again when he's at 50% health. So I get that. He's up against his own wall. He's at 51%. And uh, perfect. All I got to do is throw my special three. It's going to stun him. Uh, give six aftershocks, and that, that heal's going to go away. And... I'll be able to start this over again. So I'll just start building my uh, aftershocks now. He's at, it's gonna be quite a big aftershock because I started with a heavy. So I'm up to like 20 now. Oh my God, it was crazy. It was a very hard hitting um, build up there. So then I just push him right just below his special two, keep attacking into him. I'm not too worried about evade because uh, concussion's on most of the time. Bait that special one. Let's do this one more time and he should be down. So let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and he's going to drop now. Perfect. That was just a perfect way to play against that Ultron. That's a 550 Quake versus a 455 Ultron in war. Obviously, I knew who I was going to be fighting, so I was, I was prepared mentally for that. So that's yeah, a little cheating. But 
I thought that was a pretty good showcase on, of Quake. So we're moving on to uh, the next fight, which is Hyperion. And I do remember saying that Quake can counter his power gain, but it's pretty risky. It's it's something you can do in a pinch, I think. So I thought I'll take in Spider-Man. And I also don't know why, but halfway through this series of fights, uh, the sound cuts off. And I don't know why the sound keeps cutting off in the middle of like screen recording. So uh, it's something to do with the iOS built-in screen recorder. But anyway, Hyperion's got me up against his wall, but I'm not too worried. I can always power drain um, using a heavy attack if I have to. And in, in, in either case, Spider-Man's hitting like a truck, so I'm just uh, about to throw a special one here, and it's going to kill him. Yeah, it's not even, it's not even too interesting when, when I bring in Spider-Man. He's a little OP for, for this, this style war. So we've got Agent Venom next. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was about, probably just stretching my hands or something. Um, so, uh, the, a reason I took an Archangel is, uh, he does have a chance, I didn't want to take so much block damage with Spider-Man, because I know I'm going to use him later, and this Archangel has a chance to sh stop uh, Agent Venom's, uh, tenacity. So, for every bleed that's on him, he reduces the chance of tenacity proccing by, like, I don't know, I want to say something like 20-25%. So, what that means is that the more bleeds I get on him, the less his tenacity works, and the more I can parry him, poison him, get neurotoxins on. That was a mistake. I, I had to make sure the parry was going to last, so uh, it was kind of risky. But now with not suicides, I can spam my special one, which is kind of nice, get a couple neurotoxins on, and uh, he drops pretty easily. It took a little bit of chip damage, but it wasn't too bad. So you'll notice like when I'm playing with suicides, uh, I actually... I lose about the same amount of health per fight as I'm doing when I'm not playing with suicides because when you don't have suicides, you actually take a, the fight lasts longer and you take more blocked hits. I don't actually think that suicides are that bad for even champions that it doesn't necessarily help, you know. Unless it's like like right now I have got my sentry going. He it requ is required to like spam his special one um, f to have a good cycle. So eh, that's not necessarily good, but I'm just pointing that out so this black panther civil war once you get oh <laughs> brutal oh my god i just forgot i was i had it all set up i just forgot that it was an unblockable special one node i just i my plan was to tank that oh my god just brutal it <laughs> it's a good thing i don't really need archangel for the rest of this so i haven't given up any deaths at least that's good news i've got a Spider-Man as my immunity mini boss again, and judging by the last war, I'm not too worried about it, especially because he is not immune to taunt uh, at this lower tier of war. So it, it's still an interesting fight. Spidey on Spidey is a good fight. Um, a tech Spidey on regular Spidey, I don't think the reverse would be that interesting. It's just because he's got these nice projectile special ones. Um, he's he's got a, an, an evade. Uh, so it makes you know the combos I have to do a little bit more sporadic, more I have to kind of react. So it just makes the fight a little bit more interesting. So there you go. You got the taunt on him. He's evading. You know he's evading quite a bit. He's probably got a decent sig level on him. But I'm refreshing that taunt, which by the way, if you don't uh, remember, uh, reduces his attack by like 45%, which is killer for tanking those specials if you actually do get hit. So. There we go, I evaded all that automatically. I didn't even try, my plan was just to block it, but I got the lucky 60% chance. So that was good for me. Uh, later, later in life, I'm hoping that Sentry will actually tank those for me. But anyway, Spider-Man goes down without a hitch. That was easy. And uh, we ended up, um, actually I don't know, we'll check in back in for the, for the result. I haven't checked the war yet. But that's the end of my fights. Um, I keep missing the boss, don't know why, but we'll see you over there for the ending. Okay, guys, we won again. Uh, pretty easy war for us. It looks like we got the three battle group clears, 99% exploration, pretty nice attacker bonus there. And uh, they, they didn't even get more than one boss. So it was just a, a pretty nice win for us. Um, Oh, I even made an MVP. That's It's been a while since I did that, and I didn't even contribute to the boss kill. I don't know how they calculate those. It's so weird. 
Um, anyway, we had more. We beat them in every single category except for diversity, which is good. It shows you that diversity is not that important anymore. Um, we're working our way back up. Uh, I think we're back in tier. Where is the tier? I don't know. It doesn't tell us what tier I'm in. But uh, I think we're back in tier four. So a couple more wins. Hopefully we'll be back in tier three. That's where stuff gets interesting, I think. I think that's where the immunity mini boss starts becoming immune to actually everything. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm just trying to base it off of my memory. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Alliance War. Um, uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in future videos. Take care.